I'm just heading to Tromsø and I'm at Luton Airport. Tromsø is in the top of Norway and in the Arctic Circle. And that's me saying goodbye to the daylight for the next four days. As apparently it's only two hours of daylight a day. So it'll be quite interesting to experience no light for such a long time. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Tromsø Airport, where the local time is quarter to 12 in the afternoon. I've just arrived in Tromsø and I must say it's not cold, so I'm very excited and the place reminds me of Queenstown in New Zealand. It only took us one hour to cross the border. Yeah, it was quite weird because we had to stand outside for 20 minutes. So if the weather was worse, probably would freeze to death. Evelina, how do you find Tromsø so far? Cold. Is it nice? See, I even managed to cut myself with the ice. Looking for the hotel, and we just got off the wrong bus stop. I'm just having a dinner in a restaurant called Airbnb flat because I'm in Norway it's far too expensive to eat out and when you travel and you try to do many things in one year you have to consider the budget so when you're walking around the city you have to be very careful I almost fell down the road so I'll just slide down my van so it's not very easy to do walking tours around Tromsø, though, especially when your hotel is quite far away from the center. I'm just crossing the bridge from the Arctic Cathedral into Canada, and the bridge feels a bit funny because it's moving when you're walking, as it's made of metal. I'm just about to try different kinds of salami from this part of the world. That's the reindeer salami, moose and also whale. And the first one, it's reindeer one. It tastes like plastic salami. <laughs> Second one is moose. 
Very tasty. Well one. My favorite. Whale is the best one. I must say the city reminds me a little bit of Zakopane in Poland with Queenstown in New Zealand. It's very peaceful, although you can tell there are lots of tourists here from all over Norway and other countries. But the place is very relaxing and it's a good place to come if you want to have a city break and up the mountains. Even though it was meant not to eat out in Norway, I thought coming to Norway not trying the Rainer burger would be a miss out. So I'm going to try and check how good it is. Very good, huh? Tastes like beef. Good morning everyone. I've been up for the past three hours, but it was dark, so I felt I should go back to sleep. But it was actually eight o'clock, but only it's been it's only been kind of light since ten, and now it's ten forty-seven, so quite late for me to be up. But I, I guess I had to catch up with my night night shift because I didn't sleep. And I'm just going to do a bit of sightseeing until one p.m. Obviously, because it's only light for the one hour and a half. One of the nicer part of sightseeing for me is seeing people's houses uh, just around where we stay and it just looks like a winter wonderland. See all these houses in the white snow. We don't really see these days much in Europe because of the global warming I guess. Although the snow is quite icy so you can't really I'm just outside the Archie Cathedral, which is one of the two cathedrals in the city. But what makes it so characteristic is its shape, it looks like a Lapland tent. We are just about to start our reindeer uh, sledges tour. This is the bus waiting for us. First, go outside and feed the reindeers. Uh, I'm just about to do the sledges with the reindeers who are going to take me for a sledging for the next half an hour but what I'm quite surprised about they are very very calm as you can see but I don't I won't touch them now because I don't want to stress them because I think they've got already a bit of stress with so many people had my reindeer sledges experience and whether I enjoyed it I'm not so sure because I think these animals don't really enjoy it I guess so whether I would do it again probably not but I know that they're treated well so at least that's a good thing 
but I'm more looking forward to feeding them now. <laughs> I must say that's much more rewarding and much more fun because at least they seem to enjoy this food, whatever that is. And yeah, they're really cute. They're very, they're harmless, and they seem to be used to people as well. Oh, that one especially. We are just having a reindeer soup, which is apparently a traditional thing in this for the Sami people. And it's actually called like Polish same. I mean almost the same, it's called bigot. about the life as a reindeer herder. For example, I have a round button here. That means that I am a, not a married man. But if you are a married man, you will have the square buttons on them. And also usually many on the belt. Then you know he is, you can see, a, you're kind of like in a Sami festival or a Sami gathering. You can see on the belt that, yeah, single, single, married. But if you have like small, Triangle shaped buttons. Yeah. It means that you are divorced. Oh. No, I'm just kidding. Morning. That's our day three in Tromso, and we are starting our sightseeing with going to the cable car. I think Storstein, which is on the top of the cable car, which you can take from the Arctic Cathedral almost. And that's a great place to see the beautiful panorama of Tromso. And surprisingly, I don't find it that cold here, nor uh, it doesn't seem to be slippery, so you can walk here easily. That's why I don't have a hat and gloves.
after the husky experience, we are having our final dish in Norway before heading back home. It is a hot soup, which is kind of spicy and sweet. Mm, good hope. I'm just about to leave Tromso and I would highly recommend it to visit, especially in winter time. I must say I've been quite lucky with the weather because uh, it's been well, kind of sunny and it was, it was alright to climb and walk around the mountains. But today it started raining so I'm not sure I'll be able to walk much because it's so slippery. Our flight has been cancelled and now we're waiting for our hotel and transfer is arranged and we are due to depart tomorrow at 7am but you can see the queue is still massive Hello. Hello. <laughs> I met two new friends, I already introduced you earlier. Sebastian from half, half Portugal, half UK, right? It's lovely to meet you. <laughs> of course. And Wojtek from Poland, who lives Father, also in the UK. You already know me, I've been the recent video. Yes, and we've, we're always on the council flight. So you see, sometimes council flights can make friends. And you get extended holiday as well. <laughs> A nice hotel. We say Good it's food, nice as well in the city. And, Obviously, and we're already rich. planning an ex excursion together. <laughs> exactly. But it's the beginning of something. These prices hang over. Alcoholics? Na zdrowie. Zawsze jest po Frenchie. I'm back at Tromsø Airport and I only had maybe three hours sleep. And hopefully we will take off back to London when it started snowing quite badly. But I think they are prepared for that, so eventually we will take off back to the UK. Would you would you like another day in Tromsø? Yes, please. I wouldn't mind actually. Another delay, please. <laughs> Finally taking off, hopefully. Yeah, I'm at the end. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know if I'm at the wheel. 